What's up guys, Nate here, and today is Friday, September the 22nd, which means it is officially Pokemon 151's official release date. I know it's an official there twice, but it's officially official official that it is out now. I know I got it early, but today we're going to be checking out some more awesome 151 products, seeing maybe if we can pull out some of our big chase cards like that Zapdos, or maybe even a Charizard. But anyways guys, I guess I should show you what we're opening up today. So to start off, we're obviously going to have to check out the brand new binder collection, because obviously I'm going to be doing a binder for this set, so why not have honest a great themed binder to put it in and of course with every release weekend you know that there is an elite trainer box but you're gonna say well Nate you already opened up the elite trainer box but this elite trainer box is special it is the Pokemon Center variation which is only special in the regards that it's gonna come with a couple more packs and a couple more promos but it is still gonna be super awesome to check out we've gotten some good hits from it in the past and I've heard that these binder collections are actually really really good so anyways guys without this cluttering up my face anymore let's go down to the mini cam and start ripping some packs. Alrighty, so of course we're gonna have the ETB and then the binder collection over to the side, but guys, I gotta be honest with you, on my way home today, I stopped by a card store and picked up a binder collection, another one, just to open up, just so I could see, you know, what might come inside. I had to test my luck with some more good hits, because, you know, we didn't pull anything amazing in the first opening, so the reason in the opening I did not say my, that the Giovanni was my chase anymore is because we opened four packs from a binder collection, got Five hits, kind of six, but five hits. And I'll, I'll show them to you really quick what I opened. So obviously Ninetales EX first, Venusaur EX, a Polyrule Art Rare, into a Reverse or a Hollow Fire Energy, and funny enough, of course, in the same pack, was a Fuller Charizard, which is crazy. And then behind this, the reason I didn't say Giovanni in the intro is because, of course, off camera, I pull my like second chase card that I'm like super, super hyped about. But, but there it is, the Giovanni, you know, Charisma card. I'm really hoping to run this in a deck, so why not have the best art variation of it? Of course, day one opening, of course I'm going to pull it, but off camera, but you know I have it now, so yes, a very, very awesome set of pulls. Charizard, kind of crazy to start with here. And you know what, just to trick people who kind of skip through the intro and uh, just kind of tap to see what I open, I'm going to pan the packs back there so they think I already pulled these, just to, you know, troll the people who don't watch fully through the videos. But anyways, I think the first thing we're going to rip into here is going to be the Binder Collection, because honestly, I think this is the first time Pokemon's done like an actual, uh, not, not a themed binder, but a themed binder collection box where you can get packs along with the binder, because typically you're going to... You know, you get the binder and then you're not gonna get anything else. But honestly, I think this is a crazy like way to do it, especially because, um, I mean, everyone loves binders. It's a Mew 151 themed binder. Like everyone's gonna try to do this set. So why not have it in an actual themed binder? So that's freaking awesome. It's a really good binder. It's kind of the ultra pro quality ones, like the same ones, if you've seen any of my videos I use with like the kind of the black, like black on black sleeves like it's really really good quality so if you are picking this up it is a really really high quality binder and i really recommend it and especially it's at like a decent price point to pick up when sometimes you know you buy i guess like game genic binders around here i don't know if they're in the states but those binders are really really high quality they're a little more pricey though but these binders are like i use a similar binder for like my big hits binder so i mean i live as i preach i guess is what i'm trying to say but Four packs of 151 to start off here. Obviously, we're going to, as I nearly knock over the plastic bit, we're going to have 11 in the ETB to open up today, too. So I think that totals to, I can't do my math, 15 packs. 15 packs is what we're looking at today. So obviously, the first binder collection I opened up had insane hits. So four packs, five hits, I mean, or six if you count the energy, if I can get this open. But it, it, it's just, clearly the binders have been really good. I've seen a lot of people open the binders and pull, like, really, really good stuff out of it. So... Maybe this is the kind of collection box you guys should be gunning for. I mean, we're going to find out today if I can keep this hits luck up with this box and it's consistent. Executor there, Kadabra, and then into an Omastar, and a Hollow Energy. We will definitely take those. I'm trying to see if there's any cool, like, swirls in it. This one doesn't look like there's anything too much, but super, super nice there for sure. Honestly, the Hollow Energies, I think, is one of the best additions they've done to this set. I really like them. I would love to have, like, a full set of, like, eight of one color of energy or one type of energy, so... I hopefully can maybe do that throughout the life of 151. I don't think it'll be hard because there's like so many like of these energies that just come in like pretty much every pack. So we'll see here. Vulpix there into a Grimer and another Ninetales EX in a non-hollow energy there. But okay, we'll take a Ninetales EX. That is the second one I have. So I have a double for trading now, which is always good to have. And one thing I would now officially like to confirm is 
that God packs are real. They're actually real things. I know a lot of you guys commented about it and I was like a little skeptical at first because I, at the time, had only actually seen one person like open it. But after leaving the video up and numerous people commenting saying they have pulled God packs and people are kind of calling them demigod packs because like in the Japanese one, the full pack would be like all full arts and like alternate arts. But now that these ones, it's more cards. So obviously not everything is going to be possibly, you know, a uh, an art rare, but I mean, it is still super, super nice Gengar there, which is honestly one of the best artworks I've seen on like the regular cards there, Gengar. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah, anyways, I'm rambling, but the uh, the packs are actually not fully God packs. So they're demi God packs, what people are calling them. They're, they're still God packs in my eyes, but it would be all two reverse hollow spots. And then the rare in the back would be like your alternate art, Charizard, Venusaur, or Blastoise. I'm pretty sure that's the three evolution lines. You can get all of them. I've only seen the Charizard pulled. So we'll see if maybe I'm wrong. And this binder collection, definitely not as good as the first one there and a non hollow energy to go along with that for there too. But we of course still do have the Elite Trainer Box, which is definitely the meat of this uh, this opening here. And uh, we're gonna do kind of, a, I mean, I guess we already did kind of an in-depth review of the other Elite Trainer Box and this one is going to be very, very similar. And honestly, I don't even know if you can actually order these ones anymore. Cause like typically with the Pokemon Center ones, they go for pre-order. Oh, my corner, I think I did that. My corner's a little nicked. I think that's me, but typically these ones go up for pre-order like when the set's announced. So they're not gonna be around very often. They might keep reprinting this one. I could be very wrong, but typically with the um, actual Pokemon Center variations, they come out super early, you pre-order them. Once they're pre-ordered, they're gone. Like they don't sell them again, like regularly. So get them while they last kind of deal. But a Pokemon Center ETB here, it's gonna have a lot more packs in it. I believe 11 if I'm right. So. We'll get this out of here if I can pull all 11 of them out. So of course, I mean, you know that the sleeves come in at the damage counters, the other stuff you've seen that in the last video. If you haven't, feel free to go watch it and see what comes inside of it, like the more, I guess, accoutrements to the box. But the main thing is going to be the two Snorlaxes here. So obviously the regular one, and then the Pokemon Center variation down there with the little stamp. And I know I've seen people sometimes get these and they don't have the actual stamp variation. They just have like two of the regular ones. So. I'm very, very glad that I actually did get the stamp variation because it's like, I mean, half the reason for buying the boxes that they come with the extra promo now. It's it's not a huge thing. I think the Charmander one was nice because I have them in a Charizard deck right now, but Snorlax, definitely one of the coolest Pokemon. So we have three of these promos now. I haven't even opened them. So I actually have all three right here. Of course, the stamp one, definitely, I think, uh, I'm probably gonna take them all out, to be honest with you. I, I always say like, oh, I'll leave them in, but I'm not. I'm gonna open them up. They're gonna be in a sleeve. They'll be in a binder, don't worry. But 11 more packs of 151 to go. We need to hopefully pull our SAR Zapdos, or I know that I'm uh, one of my buddies pulled the Zapdos and he said if you pull a Blastoise, I, he would be willing to trade. So those are kind of our two, you know, chances on getting a Zapdos in my eyes. Either we pull it or we pull a Blastoise and trade for it or end up just buying it outright, which is always an opportunity. But I in there, Ivysaur, Slowbro into a Machoke, Arcanine into a War Turtle there, and the rare is a Mewtwo to go along with our Master Ball Mewtwo and a non hollow energy there. I always gotta check the energy now because why not? You gotta check the energy, you know what I mean? But um, I guess now by the time you'll be seeing this, I mean, the set is out for the public to open, and I would love to know what you guys have pulled so far, if anything. I know sometimes a lot of people wait a little bit to get the set, but it seems like from what I've heard, people are going out of their way to get this one like as early as they can, like day one. So we'll see. I'd love to know if you guys have pulled anything crazy so far. Bellsprout there into a Jolteon and another Hollow Fire Energy. That is two today, of course, one off camera. I guess you guys get in the code card too, but another hollow energy. I'll, I'll, I'll set that to the back just because everything's fire now in the back. So why not keep the theme up? So I was a little disappointed though, I would say, and I think I mentioned this in the other video that uh, the actual, for a holiday set, typically the ETBs would have 10 in them. I'm surprised they didn't put 10 in them and just, you know, bulked it up one more pack. It would have been super nice. Make the Pokemon Center 12 and make the regular one uh, 10, I guess. But uh, it's it's all right. I mean, it is what it is. Bellsprout there, another Gengar, and a non hollow energy. Okay, so not uh, nothing nothing pulled yet. We do still have a lot of packs to go. I would like to see like four hits from this. A secret illustration rare honestly would be like, oh man, <sighs> yeah, uh, dude. I don't know if you can see it, but that Vulpix is a little dinged up there. I think that's the only one in the pack that actually got a little dinged. Hopefully, Tentacruel there, Hitmonlee. Wartortle, God Pack, no, Bulbasaur, 
Dieteran, and a Weezing with a non-hollow energy behind it. Okay, guys, we're the on-camera 151 lock clearly isn't just with me, guys. I, I mean, we pulled the Kangaskhan, which is pretty decent, and I I it's still a really nice full art, but you know me, guys. I want my secret illustration rare for sure. That's like kind of what I want out of this box. The most polyware there. Or uh, Hitmonchan into a Sea King. Abra into a Lickitung and a Starmie. And oh my god, that's three Hall of Fire energies, guys. That's three of them today. That's like, okay, I guess I can swap out some of my Charizard deck for these hollow ones, but. I, I need a Charizard Secret Illustration Rare, guys. I have the full art, I have the regular EX. The only one I'm missing now is that Secret Illustration Rare, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I checked prices earlier today. Obviously, everything's a little out of whack because it's release weekend, but it seems like that that one is going to be kind of the number one chase on the set. I thought it would have been Erica, but I guess not. Tentacruel there and into an Arbok EX with a non hollow energy. But we'll take our first EX out of the ETB with one, two, three, four, five packs to go. Oh boy, these last five better be holding some good stuff in them if we've only hit one EX and a hollow energy so far. Two or two hollow energies, or I think two hollow energies. I'll have to go back and double check. But a God Pack would 100% make up for it because that's an option now, which is crazy to say in English. Oh, oh, I thought we, I thought I saw black there, which is like the Charmander artwork. That would have been crazy Venonat there and into a Chansey and a non hollow Psychic Energy. All right, next pack up. Give me some juice, gods. Give me some, some spicy pulls here at a 151. We need it. We need it. We haven't hit anything crazy on the channel yet. I'm going to go a little fast here. Seal, Slowbro, Ivysaur. I think I might see something in the back there. Vulpix, Sand Slash into, and I didn't. It's a Vaporeon and a non hollow Energy. Three packs to go, one EX so far. This ETP is brutal, dude. These, I really want to keep saying that this set is like really good for pulls, but dude, it seems like right now it's uh, it it's it's been kind of letting me down. I'll move the energy to the front here. Non hollow energy there. Magikarp, Oddish into a Mankey, Meowth there. Dugong, Hitmonchan into a Sea King. No God Pack, Abra to a Dratini, and the rare is a Blastoise EX. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. That is really good. It means hopefully the next two packs have something good in them because that's uh, our second good hit. I expect like three in an ETB, three or four. Four, hopefully, for the Pokemon Center variation because you get a little more packs in it. But a Blastoise EX there. Hopefully, we can double down and get like something good out of this one in Art Rare. Anything, guys. Uh, you know what I mean? Out of the gallery spot, preferably, because that's where all the full arts, the really juicy, like secret illustration rares or secret art rares in Japanese, secret illustration rares. And this one come from Rapidash there and a Nido King and a Fighting Energy Hollow, which honestly, I'm going to probably have to end up stop putting these at the back because there's going to be an overwhelming amount of them throughout the like the 151 like barrage of products we're going to be opening up here. But for right now, it's opening weekend. We can enjoy it a little bit. We could set them to the back. But guys, last pack of 151 up. I hope that this is where the last pack magic comes in handy. I, I, we're going to need it, man. We pulled like not really anything out of this Pokemon Center ETB here. Far-fetched. Old Amber, Pidgeotto, Magmar there, Scyther, Charmeleon, I don't want to skip too far, Parasect, no God Pack for sure, and a Charmander, which is super, super nice. Anything in the rare, it is a Venusaur EX and a non hollow Energy, thank goodness. Okay, I was right. I said I wanted a heart rare and I wanted a fuller, and the last pack magic delivered on the double banger pack. Oh, I mean, I will gladly take those. And my pulls today were pretty good off camera too with the Giovanni and the Charizard. So uh, clearly this is not too bad. We will gladly, gladly, gladly accept those hits to finish us off there. But anyways, guys, I hope you did really enjoy me opening up this Pokemon Center ETB. And I would say overall, the hits weren't amazing. The last pack magic definitely made up for it. But I would say if you are trying to pick this up, you're probably not gonna be able to for a recent price anymore because they're probably all off the website. But definitely go out there, open some 151. Tell me what you guys pulled. And anyways, this has been another episode of Nate Collection. I will see you in the next one. Peace.